Oh, Carol, thank yeah. you. It's a busy week in the weather world. It is, isn't it? Thank you for that, Carol. A uh, big question today, uh, will it be Heathrow or Gatwick? The government's long-awaited decision on airport expansion in South East England is set to be announced today. Yeah, it's a debate that has gone on for quite some time. Decades, you could probably say, isn't it? Steph is at Heathrow this morning looking at the economic case for it. Good morning to you, Steph. Steph, we should be back with you very shortly. Now, it is approaching 7 o'clock. Um, yes. So, uh, right, here we go for you. We've got a while before yabba dabba do time, but when you get home, will you be accused of being a jack brute? Absolutely no idea. OK, well, we will clear things. Let's bring you some uh, news just coming into us here. We're getting reports that four people have been badly injured in an accident which has taken place at a theme park on Australia's very popular Gold Coast this morning. Yes, uh, police are dealing with what they're calling a, a critical incident. A press conference is expected to begin shortly. We'll listen to it and bring you more as soon as we get it. I'll update you on that one. Elsewhere, at least 58 cadets and guards have been killed after militants attacked a police uh, college in the Pakistan. Pakistani city of Quetta. Three gunmen wearing suicide vests entered the building late last night and opened fire. All three were later killed during the operation to retake the training facility. Juliet McFarlane reports. Amazing story. It is uh, 14 minutes past seven. You're watching BBC Breakfast. Let's take you, get you more on one of our main stories here today. And it's been a home to thousands of migrants and a headache for politicians on both sides of the channel. But the end is in sight for the so-called jungle in Calais. Demolition work is due to begin today on the Calais camp, which had a population of around 7,000 people. Yesterday, 2,000 of them were bussed out and taken to centres across France from where they can apply for asylum. The Home Secretary, Amber Rudd, said yesterday that almost 200 children from the camp have already been brought to the UK. They include 60 girls who she said were at high risk of sexual exploitation. Mrs Rudd said they'll be, allowed, they'll be followed by several hundred more children in the next three weeks. Well, some are being brought to the UK under the dubs arrangement, which, also, which allows vulnerable children refuge even if they don't already have family here. It was named after Lord Dubbs, who joins us now to the jungle, to these camps in Calais. Um, what did you find, and did you find ch children, very young children there? Uh, reports in the Guardian newspaper that some councils in England are refusing to accept refugees. What would your thoughts on that? Much, thank Balmy. you. Balmy, balmy weather. Uh, it's a saga that's gone on for decades, but after years of discussion and delay, the government is set to rule today on whether or not to expand Heathrow Airport. But the ministerial decision won't be the end of the matter. Steph is at Heathrow for us all morning, looking at all the different arguments. Morning again. There's lots of them. Morning, Steph. <laughs> Nails and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, exactly. That's when we know we've really lost you. <laughs> Lovely to see you there, Steph. Thank you. Uh, you are watching Good Breakfast from BBC News, still to come this morning. <laughs> Hello, this is Breakfast with Louise Minchin and Dan Walker. It's just after 7.30. Uh, let's get the latest news for you. And after years of discussion and delay, the government will reveal its decision on airport expansion in the south-east of England.